All right, here I'm standing out in front of this home. We're taking a walk. I'm actually in the yard and walking up to it. This is a three bedroom, two bath in West Carrollton schools here. Turn around, we do have a covered front porch over here. But one thing I wanted to show you while we're out here is just the setting of this home. It's almost like a country park-like setting. It is very common to see deer in the front yard here. Uh, the current owner has seen bucks running down the middle of the street. Very wildernessy, but you're still kind of in the city. Now, this is the cover front porch here. We will be going through this door, but before we go in this door, I want to show you the side yard and the backyard, and then we'll circle back around and go in and take a look at the inside. I'll meet you out back. All right, so here I just walked around to the side. We have a good sized garage, one car garage here, and it looks like the house is full brick, which is very nice, but plenty of parking in the driveway here. We have this uh, pull through to here, so you can park multiple cars here and really get a lot of cars in the driveway. Avoid those ferns as we're walking through here. And then, as you can see, driveway goes way down there as well. Back patio here, yes, this is full brick. So this is full brick. Very nice. Built-in grill right here too, which you don't, I've only seen this a couple times on houses. Very, very cool. And I'll point this out on the inside. I don't know if you can see on the camera. Looks like uh, top of the chimney has been rebuilt. So assumed to work, but nice patio. Very private back here. And I don't know if we can see this on the camera or not, but the roof has been updated. Gigantic sliding door here. This goes to the family room. And then we have a bow window here. And then a door coming in the back. So we have one, the back door here, the sliding door here. Then you have a garage door, which will be inside there and the front door. So multiple points of egress on this house. So great setting. Next, let's go look at the inside. All right, so here I just walked through the front door. This is a brand new door and it brings us into a long entry here. I'm switching my back to the front door now. So we have our coat closet right there. Nice little built-in spot to put your shoes so you're not tracking stuff through the house. Now throughout the house, we have new flooring throughout the entire home. We're walking into the living room here to our right. And this is all new flooring here. Gas fireplace with granite. That's all granite surround right there. If we go straight, we go into our new kitchen. And to the left takes us to the bedrooms. We're gonna go ahead and swing right and check out the living room. This is a good sized living room here. Big bay or bow window. And all of the windows in the home have been updated. New baseboards, new uh, or fresh paint throughout the house as well. Nice built-in bookcase. We even have an outlet in here for holiday decorations. And this uh, big bay window here overlooks the front of the property. And this is where you'll see deer. The current owner has pictures. I'm going to put one of them online to look at if you haven't seen it. Dining room here. And we have another uh, bay slash bow window over here as well. New light fixture in the dining room. And then family room, uh, gas fireplace here as well. And there's also an outdoor grill right there. And here is our patio and very private back here. Lots of um, thick vegetation. So it gives you a, a good amount of privacy back here. This door takes us to the garage. There is a storage um, closet in the garage. All new flooring in here as well. Now this fireplace here, the previous owner had part of the chimney rebuilt. Current owner's never done anything with it, but it's believed to be in working condition. On this side of the house, we have our laundry room, new flooring and baseboards throughout here, dryer on the right, washer on the left, and then nice closet in here. A full bathroom on this side of the house, new vanity, new toilet, brand new tub, and new surround, which is all looks like porcelain marble look tile. Try to give you a better 
that's better. That's how it looks in person. All new fixtures in here as well. New towel rack, new vanity, and new hand towel rack as well. So we're gonna walk all the way back over to the other side of the house. Um, give you another view there. There is a door right here that will come in. I'll go show you that now. Before we look at the bedrooms, we'll check out, I don't know what I wanna call this room, but <clears throat> until you hear it in a second. So here's the kitchen. This was gutted, completely redone. New cabinets, new countertops, all new stainless steel appliances, new hardware, Samsung microwave, stainless steel fridge here, a little look through window to that room that I was just talking about. It's all subway tile. Looks like a new farmhouse kitchen sink with a single whole faucet, new dishwasher, and a new Samsung fridge as well. So, sorry if I'm moving the camera too fast, so I was thinking about this room. This is a saloon door, so you can keep the bottom shut and open the top to let air flow in. But from there, we can get to the patio, which also goes out to the driveway. And, you know, this is on the back of the home, so it's not really an entry. I don't know what we call it, but it does have a ceiling fan. <laughs> so, it'd be a good little office area or just a sitting room. Could have a bench if you're coming in through the back door instead of the front door. And great kitchen. Give you another perspective of it. And then new light fixture in here as well. Oh, I didn't even notice this before. This does have a pocket door right here going to the kitchen as well. So there's the entry where we just came from. We have a, like a, another linen closet here. I'll say another one because the bathroom has one. Uh, bedroom number one, this is in the front middle of the home. This is all wood flooring in here. Parquet, I think is what they call this type of flooring. See a new ceiling fan in here. Um, backing up, these louvered doors here, this is where our gas water heater and our gas furnace are. And both of those are not very old. Uh, coming around the corner, this is the, uh, I'm gonna call it the primary bathroom just because it's the bigger bathroom. There's another, this is the other linen closet, but you all have that marble look, uh, porcelain tile in here, double vanity, uh, a low flow or energy efficient toilet. This was gutted, excuse me, and completely redone as well. This is all new tile. And this looks like a brand new tub. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 90% sure this is a brand new tub new fixtures in here as well. And one little thing that I know my wife would really like, big built-in, not really bench, I guess you could sit on that, but just a place to put all of your stuff, which is very nice. And this bathroom can double as the owner's suite here because we have a door here, so you could shut this door and lock it and just use this as your owner's suite because if we come around the corner, we can come into this bedroom and use that door to get in and out of the bathroom. This bedroom is on the back left of the house. New ceiling fan in here as well. And this is all wood floors. And that window overlooks the backyard, which is pretty much just vegetation. And looking out this window, uh, it's pretty much just vegetation peering through. I can kind of see a house, but pretty private. And then, Coming to the last bedroom, this is on the front left. Now I said all of the flooring is new, I have to correct myself. This parquet flooring is not new, uh, but all the other flooring is new, so one correction there. Ceiling fan here, new baseboards throughout, fresh coat of paint, all the windows have been updated on this home. So updated roof, updated furnace, updated air conditioner, updated uh, water heater, new kitchen, Fresh coat of paint, there's literally nothing that needs to be done to this home other than you move in and enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or give your agent a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this home. And thanks for watching.